Very thankful. It's a beautiful sunny day. The years will uh, dry off and I'll be able to house them. I don't want to house them when they're wet because when they're wet and you house them, they can get pneumonia. So this is Becky. Hey lady, how are you? She's damp. She's definitely still damp. I'm going down in to see how deep the damp. So hopefully I will leave them out for most of today. I'll go and prepare the shed and then bring all the yews in with the sun shining the way it is. Hopefully they'll dry out quite a bit. And I'll bring all the in-lamb yews into the shed with a straw bed and get ready for, do, I will dag the yews that need dagging. Not all of them need dagging, but they're all enjoying the sun this morning because it has been so wet for so many days now. Their hay, they still have plenty of hay up in the ring feeder, which is up there. You can just see. They're gonna miss the back scratcher. They won't have this great oak tree's um, dangly down branch to scratch their back. You can see Bathsheba is having a lovely scratch up here. And then Bizu down at the bottom having her own back scratch. It's the kind of thing they love. And it's so lovely that this oak tree provides two back scratchers for sheep. It's a really good thing to have uh, something for the sheep to scratch their backs on. Okay, it's not great for the wool because it kind of felts it, but they're less likely to cast themselves. And that's when a sheep tries to roll around on the ground to scratch its back and it gets stuck because it's so in lamb or full fleeced. And that's when a crow or a corvid or a magpie or a raven will come along and peck at their eyes and at their rear end because the sheep can't do anything about it. So you can sometimes come across a sheep that has been pecked blind by a corvid, one of the corvids, um, because it's cast, it can't do anything about it. So I like that my yews, in most of the fields, they have a branch they can scratch their backs on. Hey you, how are you beautiful? You gorgeous thing. You look like you're going to be in lamb. You're in lamb. I don't do scanning. Um, I used to do scanning when I used to sell in lamb, and now you just have to change your arm if they look in lamb and I sell them. Sell in lamb yos. But she's definitely in lamb. She's definitely in lamb. So you can tell the big heavy belly on them that they're in lamb. You're not in lamb. That's Aggie. She's not in lamb. She's too old. And you can see she's in lamb. Look at how wide she is. She's in lamb. You can see how big she is. That one's not in lamb because that's a lamb. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go and get the shed ready now. And these ladies will, I will bring them in later this afternoon when hopefully they're hardly damp at all. So that uh, they don't get pneumonia in the shed. So they'll have a lovely clean shed full of straw. There won't be a scratching post. So sorry about that Bathsheba. No scratching post for you in the shed. You'll just have to rub along the fences or the pillars. So she's having a lovely good scratch there. <laughs>